Hey guys, Kayla Fox here, back with another video. It's gonna be really cool. <sighs> now this time I want to talk about something that I found really useful that I think nobody's ever tried before. So, as you can tell by the title of the video, I'm gonna be talking about duct tape dummies. Well, specifically, a most advanced and unnecessarily complicated, difficult way to ever make a bodysuit. If you're ordering or commissioning a full body fursuit, they usually want some guide to go off, like your body. So, what people usually do is make a duct tape dummy. And basically, what you're gonna do is replicate your body as a dummy. Now, usually, the way to do that is you get one of those overalls that you put over your body and you use that because when you're using sticky tape and you're putting it on you don't want it to stick to your skin and like rip your... you know so you put that suit on first and basically you stand like this and another person will be helping tape up your body from the legs up and I'm sure there's plenty of videos out there showing how to do that but I'm not going to be showing that today so let's hope it works because I'm not really sure if it does so the way I thought of doing it was using photogrammetry now if you don't know what photogrammetry is it's where it's basically photo scanning but using photos and you take multiple photos of something so let's say I wanted to photo scan this basically what I do is I get my phone camera or just any camera you basically have to take a bunch of photos from every angle. So usually I go around once and then go around twice from the top and on the third time I go from the bottom. And then usually that gets the best results. Um, I have some examples here. So this is something I did a photo scan of really quickly actually. Um, I did this at my friend's birthday party because I was just kind of bored so I was like oh hey can I take a bunch of photos of this garden gnome and they're like sure and I'm surprised this actually worked right here we got a sea urchin because I really love sea urchin you can see it got all like the... it gets a lot of details now another one I did was of my friend um, and this one turned out really well I'm really surprised how well this turned out I mean so I'm thinking why can't I just scan my body, put it into a 3D modeling program, convert that model into 2D templates, which I can then use for the fur patterns for my bodysuit. And I, I was like, wow, that's a great idea. So I'm gonna try it like now. I haven't tried it yet, but I think this can work. Also, sorry about the noise. It's uh, the printer's going off. Yeah, I'm basically always using it, so it's gonna be on. <laughs> Deal with it. But hopefully you don't notice that. So, let's jump into it. The program I used before to show you those models was called Autodesk, oh, I bet. It was called Autodesk, Autodesk Remake, and they recently changed that to Autodesk Recap, so I had to re-download the software, and for some reason, my sh they, they, it didn't work. Like, I, I don't know why I, I entered all my stuff correctly. Because you need to have, like, sadly, you have to have a, a student ID to use it. But I was a student, so I got that for free. But yeah, basically, I found something free, which is called Meshroom. And it's an open source program. And it looks like it works really well. But anyway, that, that's as far as I'm going to go with this. I don't want to go too deep into the rabbit hole. At this point, I really think I'm just going to make a duct tape dummy. But if you think you want to try this, then go ahead. I'd love to I'd love to see see what you could do with this. But anyway, the main the main technique I was going to talk about was well, not technique, but the program I was going to use is called Pepper Cura. Now, uh, this is a program that basically unwraps models onto flat pieces of paper for you to print out. Um, I've used this 
I used to do this a lot. I even did it to make a suit of armor, which, which, which was pretty cool. Um, but you could do so many things with this program. Um, I've even, I even, I, I did manage to use it once on a fursuit as templates for fur fabric back when I was still figuring out things. But it does work. Um, but I'm not so sure for bodysuits. It it could work if <laughs> you want to use that much effort, but seriously, this is just really... It, it, it's not worth it, guys. Just just make duct tape dummies. Like, they're still cool. Well, that's pretty much it. Um, I'm sorry it didn't work, but uh, I don't have the patience to find another software that actually works for me. But yeah, I still hope it was enjoyable, and um, thank you very much, and I'll see you next time. Also, yeah, I know I'm shirtless. It's really, really, really hot here. Bye.